bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Lowry is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. around the 23-yard line. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Gets out to around the 32. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. run up the middle so the option keeper will get him a first down it's a very well executed option play the blocking was there and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down he makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line that's a game of two on the play. that makes it second and eight from their own 39-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at the 47. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's scrambling. Brought down at the 37. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He fights forward to about the 36. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 36. Maxwell off the left side. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Tenth play of the drive. job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down from the 21 yard line first down got a man complete he's hit hard here's the 12th play of the drive He's scrambling. Tackle at the 10. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. He's taken down 
at the 11 yard line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Well, Kirk, we saw this kid head to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. Now we see these back on the sideline. That's good news. Looks like he should be able to get back in the action. Up the middle for a nice game. Maxwell gained seven yards on that play. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. They'll bring him down at the five-yard line. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he hits him hard at the 18. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. From their own 18-yard line, first down. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Second and four. So at the end of one, no score here. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Tackle and positive yardage. That's a gain of four on the That'll bring up third. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. And the tailback picks up the first down. Well, the defense did a pretty good job there and didn't give him much room. Unfortunately for them, there was just enough space to eke out two yards he needed for the first down. After a decent pickup. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Has some daylight. He's at the 40. And he's taken down at the 25. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. He's going to try and scramble. So the quarterback scrambles for about a yard. This is the eighth play of this drive. And they make the stop around the nine yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Nice run there as they work the outside. Irons. Gains about five yards on the run. That brings this is the tenth goal. play of this drive. And the goal line defense digging in here. He's in for the touchdown. He made a 
great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 95-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Taken at the 5. Brought down at the 30. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's tackled around the 33-yard line, and he gains around three on that keeper. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Makes it out to about the 46. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. Good tackle there in space. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. back and down he goes right around the 48 yard line oh, I, I think calling the plays you've got to be aware of this guy he's making too many plays and when he's that close to the line of scrimmage defending the run not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage you've got to do something to make him pay for that if he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage if you're calling the plays listen up this is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head straight up the middle and he'll lose yardage Larkin awaiting the return. No, he won't. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Caught him, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Dropped back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Slings it. He is drilled at the 32. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. The Falcons use their second timeout. <laughs> Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's a First Get to that quickly. Tackle made around the 18-yard line. Check three, check three. 
assists and three assists. Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at the 12. That makes it first, first and 10. ten. Ball on the 12-yard line. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled at about the nine-yard line. Five wide. Scrambling around. Brought down around the four-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The Falcons with a touchdown lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. People say college football is evolving, is completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down. In a world where we have all the fast-paced, up-tempo, scoring points galore, it's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm looking at some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, wait, wait don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Irons fields it at the 18, gets out to about the 31. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Takes it right and brought down right away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of six yards. Third down. He's on the run, heading for the corner. There's a very impressive open field tackle. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 48. Fires complete over the middle. Tackle at the 36-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. Scramble, looking for the corner. And he's tackled in the open field. That's a gain of five on the That'll bring up third and six. And here's another third down. He's scrambling. He's taken down at the 26 yard line. That's a gain of seven on the that makes it first and ten. And this play is number eight on the drive. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Throws a straight 
strike over the middle. He's hit and taken down. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. hit immediately. Gained seven yards with a catch there. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can ask for much more than that. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. That makes it second and 10. From the 10-yard line, it's second down. Now he's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. Here's the halfback on the screen. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. And if they can connect on this one, that'll put them up by a couple of scores. It's up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. James from the two. He's tackled at the 26. The Falcons continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes it to the 34. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Tackle right there. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That's a make it fourth and six. Larkin will be the return man. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Herbie, this guy headed to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. We don't know how bad it is, but right now it doesn't look like he's likely to play any more football. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Falcons with a 10-point lead. All right, 
we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Makes it out to about the 20. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is the third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Call the game two yards. That brings us second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 18. for a loss. Here they come. Nice game, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks away, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Washington sets in time. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. And they make the stop right around the 20. from their own 20-yard line. It's second down. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And he shoved out of bounds around the 35-yard line. six-yard line. Second down. Just under three to go in regulation. He's tackled at about the 45. He's going to try and scramble. Down he goes at the 47. That makes it second and eight. From their own 47 yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Steps out right away. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Get 
He gets rid of this one. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Just under two to go in the game. He lets it fly. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Gets rid of it quickly, and it's incomplete. When the first down marker is that far away, Someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets out to around the 48. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. The halfback with a carry. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The defense calls a timeout. And now they've got no timeouts left. Gets out to about the 21-yard line. From the 21-yard line. First down. Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. And that's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 13 to nothing, Falcon. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.